I'm down here in my studio and Clark Man just went down for a nap. It's actually a pretty cold day for August. I don't even think it's supposed to hit 70 degrees today. So we've just been hanging out inside. And luckily enough, I got some packages in the mail here that I want to share with you. And I'll just preface this video by saying this is a tech video. So if you have no interest in technology, specifically camera equipment, I would probably check back tomorrow because this definitely isn't going to be the video for you. But speaking of camera equipment, I have to let you know that is one of my passions. I love cameras. I love audio equipment. And I love lighting, all kinds of stuff like that. I just have such an interest in it, as though it may not tell because I know my stuff's not professional, including my camera and my lighting, but I do the best that I can with what I've got. And speaking of cameras, we'll start there. I'll just say that the camera that you're watching this on right now is a Sony RX100 Mark III. I bought that in November of 2015 or December of 2015, so every video that you've seen on this channel since the end of 2015 has been filmed with that, so almost two years of videos filmed with a camera that's just mid-grade. In fact, I absolutely absolutely love this camera. I love everything about it, but there's one thing that I really don't like about it, and it's the audio. You may be able to tell right now, I don't think most people really care as much about audio as I do, but to me, audio is almost more important in videos than the, the visuals are. There's no external mic support. And that's something that really bothers me, especially when I'm making my Lego videos, because if there is no, there's no talking and it's just pretty much silence, there's a bit of a hiss with this camera. And I'll stop for just one second so maybe you can hear it. Maybe you heard it, maybe you didn't, but it bothers the heck out of me. And that's why I got these things that you see here because I'm going to try to do something a little different just as an experiment and we'll see how it goes. Before we get into this experiment, I'll tell you what I was about to do. For the longest time, I was planning to go out and get a Canon DSLR camera. It's one of those big ones, if you're not familiar, that takes great photos and great video. You can attach different lenses to it. So I was gonna get a wide angle lens for vlogging and I was also going to get an external microphone for the top of it. And with all the accessories and things that I was gonna put on this, it was gonna cost about $1,300. But before I pulled the trigger on that, and I was about to do it, I started thinking to myself, how am I actually gonna use this thing? Sure, at home it's fine to have this big DSLR camera that's on a tripod and I can have it sitting around and use it around the house, but what about when I travel, when I wanna put a camera in my pocket and just move around like I do with this Sony one? What are my options there? And then I started thinking, what's the camera that you have with you all the time no matter what? And the answer, is right here. This is the iPhone 6S. I've had it for about a year now. I've never used it for any real video making, but when I purchased this, I knew that I wanted an iPhone just for the fact that it would communicate with my MacBook so easily where I could just transfer the photos and videos over. And I've done that with photos. The video kind of remains a uh, mystery to me. The main reason for that is, is that I never wanted to really commit to this camera because the Sony one that I'm using is so much better. And as much as I complain about the audio on the Sony camera, this one doesn't have much better audio. The main benefit to this one is the fact that it's always in your pocket and the fact that you can hook an external microphone up to this, which kind of brings these boxes here into the picture. I'm gonna start cutting into these and I'll kind of explain what my thought process is here for what I'm about to do. And again, this is just gonna be an experiment because I wanna see how this works out. I know by now you're pretty curious about what's in here. A note to myself, it helps if you have the right box when you go to unbox something. I opened up the last one and I was like, that's not, that's not what I ordered. So let's give this one a shot. I'm pretty sure this is the box that I'm looking for. Okay, this is it right here. Here is what I got. This is the Rode Video Micro. And I've done so much research on external microphones, and this seems to be, as, as funny as it is, this is the one of the least expensive ones. I think it was $59 on BH Photo Video. This is a excellent microphone, and what this does is it reduces a lot of hissing and background noise because it's like a shotgun microphone. And that's kind of something that I'm looking for. So I got that, and they also included this as well, I actually purchased this. This is a little adapter that goes from the microphone to my iPhone. So this is gonna be hooked up together. And then I also got another little package here which I'll open up and I'll explain what this is as well. This is a clip that goes on the back of your phone, like so, you tighten that down. So your phone sits in there like that. This microphone, once I open it up, will go on top of this because this actually has a little mount on top of it. And then it plugs into the side here and then I can put this on any kind of Joby Gorilla Pod or any kind of tripod at all. And then once that's on the bottom, I can make this my vlogging setup. So by purchasing these three items, what I'm trying to determine in this experiment is can I make a video quality sacrifice by using the front and rear facing cameras on this iPhone in order to pick up this amazing audio 
using an external microphone? Is it going to be better than having the great video and poor audio? Is audio better than video or is video better than audio? And I think this will be a good experiment to make that decision. So I thought it'd be fun to hook this all up and do a little bit of a trial run and experiment just to see kind of how this looks versus what I'm using now. I'm actually really excited about this microphone. I watched so many comparison videos for this thing, it was unreal. There it is. And this is the stabilizer that's going to go on to this. Man. Check that out. Should I look at the directions? Probably should. Okay. And that's kind of cool because you can you can hit this microphone pretty hard and it moves around a little bit. This is called a dead cat and the reason that you have that on there is just to prevent wind noise, which is another issue with this camera that I'm using right now. Anytime the wind's blowing at all, I lose audio completely and it turns really bad. This is the cable that this comes with. Unfortunately, that doesn't work with an iPhone, so that's the reason that I bought this cable. I don't know why it's that way. I just did the research on it to find out that's, that is the case. And I want to say that the black side goes into this and then the other side goes into the iPhone. Now I have a decision to make. I think I'm probably gonna use the front facing camera just so I can see when I'm framing. So I'm probably gonna spin this around 180 degrees. Just put the iPhone in there like I did earlier. And then you crank this down on the back like so. And then we'll plug that into the iPhone. Got my Joby Gorillapod here and this thing has a little mount on it as well that I'm just gonna plug into this. And I find the best thing to tighten that up with is a quarter. Something you usually have on hand. I used to use a screwdriver, but it's just like kind of inconvenient. If you use that, it just goes like that and like so. I just moved the camera up so you can see this entire rig. I know it looks a little crazy. Obviously this isn't something I can just fit in my pocket and walk around with, but if I want to get great audio and I didn't want to spend $1,300 on a DSLR, this could be an option. And again, we're going to determine if audio is more important than video by doing a little bit of test here. And then one last cool thing that I want to show you before we get into that. If I ever want to take my phone out of this, all I have to do is just unplug that, turn this dial, and my phone's out. And then this is just waiting for me to get great audio again if I want to start vlogging with it. And otherwise, I can just vlog with this anytime that I want to, which I think is pretty cool. All right, that's enough yapping. Let's try this out. I think we are recording on this side over here. This is the Sony RX100. And now you're hearing the audio from the iPhone 6S. Again, this is perfect conditions. There is no external sound at all. It's perfectly silent. So I'll be quiet one more time here so we can see if we hear any background noise. And again, maybe this is one of those things that would work a lot better if I was outside and there was all kinds of audio disruptions like wind and stuff coming in. For video quality, you'll have to let me know there. I feel like the RX100 is looking a lot better there. This iPhone 6S is definitely zoomed in a lot more because it has a little bit of, I guess not as wide of an angle. And before I finish up with my last little clip here, here's what this looks like when you're vlogging with it. Again, it's kind of a big setup. So this isn't really something that's kind of discreet that you'd want to walk into a store or in a public place with because you're definitely going to get me looked at. Whereas if you could just have the camera camera by itself, you might be able to get away with that. Or if you just have a point and shoot camera, you can get away with that as well. And that again is a reason I think I wouldn't be happy with the DSLR because this is nothing in comparison to the size of having a big camera in front of this. I'm just going to finish this video out using the iPhone with the microphone attached. I'm holding this in my hand so I can see if there's any kind of motion in this. I know the Sony RX100 has really good stability to that, whereas I don't think this does at all. I'm going to experiment again with this tomorrow just to see what vlogging with my iPhone is like, because again, in a pinch where I don't have my other camera, this one could be a good one to have, and it's just worth experimenting. So let me know what you think about this. I need your judgment. What was the video like? What is the audio like? Is it worth the, the reduction in video quality to get better audio? Is the audio even better? That's the most important thing. Hopefully so, because I spent about $74 on the entire setup that I have here, and I'm curious to see what you think. So thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video. Hi, Roxy Bear. I did. What are you doing? Putting my clocks up. Why? Uh-uh, go outside. Oh, you're doing it to go outside. There's another little video test for you just to see how it kind of turns out. Oh, 